What is up everybody, Matt here back again with another video for you guys. Today's video is kind of unique and a little bit different. Odds are, if you do anything with collecting records or vinyl or audio or anything like that, you've probably seen this painting. Now, the big question is, what is this painting, where does it come from, where are the origins of it? And that is the topic of today's video. This painting is actually called His Master's Voice, and it was painted by English artist Francis Baroud. The story behind the image is that Francis inherited both the dog, whose name is Nipper, and a cylinder phonograph with a recording of his brother's voice after he died. He liked how the dog looked at the machine whenever he played it, and heard his master's voice, and he decided to paint the scene. Eventually, he was able to sell the image to the Gramophone Company of England. Throughout the early 1900s, many companies would adopt this logo, and there was one company, the Victor Talking Machine Company, who actually encouraged its buyers to look for the dog. In 1909, the Gramophone Company began using the logo and would eventually become known as HMV, an abbreviation of His Master's Voice. In 1929, RCA bought Victor and began using it. Gramophone would eventually go on to become part of EMI. In 1921, the first store was opened by the Gramophone Company with the title HMV. Eventually, RCA would become the primary holder of the rights to this particular image. JVC, though, still uses the image, but only in their Japanese markets. EMI was also allowed to use the image in the UK until about 1988. In 1968, RCA limited the use of the logo to its Red Seal records, which is where most vinyl collectors are familiar with this image. Eventually, the image would become synonymous with RCA. I mean, even as a kid, I used to call it the RCA dog. The logo has been used in shops and ads and parodies all over the world. HMV is actually still open, and for a while, they actually replaced Nipper with Gromit from the Wallace and Gromit series for a short time to promote uh, children's records. The image has appeared in movies and even cartoons. Uh, there's a great Daffy Duck cartoon where he goes around and he's drawing mustaches on everything, and that's probably one of the more famous ones that he's in. Personally, I love the painting. Um, as a dog lover and as a vinyl lover, it just really speaks to me. I think it's just a really cute, cool idea. Kind of a sad story behind it, but, you know, one that I think is just still really cool even to this day. So that is the story of his master's voice. Hopefully, maybe you learned something about it, and um, hopefully, you know, uh, you enjoyed the story. Anyway, that's all I have to say about his master's voice. I will see you guys next time.